and gentlemen, welcome to the <laughs> first episode of T4 Talk Techies Talking Tech. Techies tonight. Talking Talk Talk. <laughs> techies Talk 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 Talk. T4 if, Techies if Talking like, Tech tonight. This is the more website. This is the freeform show from Tech's Last Call. If you've Which listened to profanity. If you've yes. listened to Tech's Last Call, uh, the normal podcast, that's a straight news show where we try to give you the news without the swearing. And this Trent is sleeps me. This is more of the swearing and less of the news. Um, so Poopy. each week we will start with uh, an extended statement of simply what is happening. So Stephen, what's new with you? You guys suck. Why do we suck? Because you picked the wrong game of the year. How do you pick the wrong? How in a subjective no, judgment? What, what is the right? How do you? How in a subjective argument do you have the wrong game? Okay, we can rehash this argument. I'm totally okay. You're with only this. sort of a game <laughs> editor. <laughs> Need to remember I can what fire you, you at any moment. I keep forgetting, yeah, who signs my checks? Answer, none of y'all. <laughs> I am still editor-in-chief of this website. And to your other website, might I add. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not editor-in-chief of that website. I am the editor-in-chief of this one, though. I think I'm the editor-in-chief. You're exec- we don't have an editor-in-chief. You're no, executive anywho, director, and I'm executive Send Boldly, the Sign Your Name podcast, is on Tuesday. Hey, suck it. No, wrong podcast. <laughs> okay. this, this podcast. No, pos- no cross-promotion. Actually, yes, I'm on both sites. Anyways, right. why the hell did we get it wrong? Okay, Bioshock Infinite. Great game. Great. Uh, ama- actually, uh, I think the best uh, game of the year. No, we gave, it to, game. we gave it to The Last of Us. But anyways, okay. The Last of Us is the best game of the year. The Last of Us is the best game of the year. Disagree with the, uh, that one, too. One. Um, why do you disagree with this? Did you the play last it? Of us, yeah, I did. I did. It felt, it was really... Yeah, you're one up on me. I didn't play it. Oh, okay. Good job picking the game of the year. You didn't play, you no. whore. What? We can't all play that we're small staff. Anyways, why the hell did we get it wrong? Because it went from something that could be really, really great to just felt like a generic action shooter. How? It just felt that way to me, okay? Did you see the ending? I did. Big whoop, who gives a doodle, gobble, gobble, hey. I was very tired and was definitely at that point that I get to with all games where I'm like... (laughs) <laughs> Screw it, I'm going to beat this game tonight. Yes. This is going to happen. And so I played the like epic scene of that game at 4 a.m. after consuming more caffeine than any human should consume within 24 hours in the course of like six. Mm-hmm. And like, so I may have been emotionally numb when I played that. However, based on at least three or four of my male engineering friends re- recounting of this this glorious game, mm-hmm. Um, they were actually bawling during Look, this, I, this scene. I Maybe didn't... we're just heartless bastards, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I think that... I, <laughs> I, you are caffeine. heartless bastards. <laughs> so I was what? so, like, amped up on caffeine. It's so funny, though, because I think if I remember correctly, I started the discussion. If you listen to the extended discussion, I think that you'll find that I started off with, I really don't want to let Last of Us be the game of the year. And then guess what? It's now the game of the year. And then <laughs> I won the argument, and it was game of the year. Did well, you, no, did... Or no, I think I also said I didn't want Grand Theft Auto to be game of the year. And so, it wasn't. You know, it yeah. was not. It game... Grand Theft Auto, great game, multiplayer at the beginning, the rollout. I don't know if it's fine now, but... It's not. At the, it's, it's not. It's still not. Well, look, it functions. It's still not good. It's okay. still nothing you'd want to play. Okay. Um, well, then... Um... Much like SimCity, actually. Yeah, yeah, which was our most disappointing game of the year. But yeah, Stephen and I. So when um, Grand Theft Auto launched, like we were really excited. Like, is it launched on a Tuesday? And so we were. We sat there trying to load, trying to load, trying to load, trying to load. And then it loaded. And then it loaded. Didn't load then, anyone else. And we went to like one of the the games. And it's like we were stayed in the lobby for about what. 15, 15 minutes. minutes and we're like mm, this is not working um, same thing that happened with us in splinter cell because we wanted to play splinter cell co-op and then we couldn't wait, do wait, it is that the one where you got the like the the helicopter or whatever with yeah. it yeah you yeah. got to the f- I airplane yeah. i bought the airplane, airplane. airplane it is currently right. in rural georgia i like my air i pl- i fly my airplane Mm-hmm. I got more to use out of that airplane than I did. That is why Splinter Cell should have been the game of the year. It was an awful, with- like it was not an awful game. It just didn't speak to me. So okay, Stephen, if we got it wrong with Last of Us, which is an amazing game and does amazing things for the medium, that your pick, that which I know what it is, doesn't do. What's your pick? My pick is. It didn't come out. Did it come out this year? I what, don't know. What game? Walking Dead. <laughs> That was 2012. Exactly. Right? It yeah. should have excellent stayed. TV show. Is that a game? <laughs> it is a game. There's a great point-and-click adventure yep. series by Telltale, and it's amazing. And I argue it's one of the best games of 2012. They did just start a new season, but mm-hmm. that didn't make it in time for our Game of the Year yeah. considerations. So try again. Try what is your <laughs> best game of 2013? Okay, my favorite game of 2013, which I think ultimately Game of the Year should just be, what is the game you can't stop playing? 
In um, which case, for most people, it would be Farmville. Well, good and for Grand Far- Theft Auto. <laughs> or for me, it would have been Grand Theft Auto. Hey Trey, I, how many? How many? Oh, no, 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 no. For Trey, it would have been Nino Cooney. <laughs> yes, Nino Cooney. <laughs> <laughs> the game I can't. Or, or actually, it would have been Persona 4 Golden, which also didn't launch in 2013. So what was it? Okay, fine. What's Persona, the game? Persona 4, which made Trey feel like a horrible human. Like, <laughs> like, I've never felt... Ma- a video game made me feel so bad about is myself. It, isn't and- it like it's a JRPG plus dating sim or something like yes. that? Yes. But, okay, so they added a twist for the... I've talked about this on other shows, but they added a twist in the U.S. version of Persona 4 Golden where you have to in-person break up with all but one girl in the fi- in the closing sequences. And so, like, on Valentine's Day, all of my vi- virtual girlfriends made me gifts, and then I could only accept a gift from one person, and I had to go through a breakup scene with each of them where they totally, like, get upset. Trey. You do know it's a video game. You do it's know called, you're married in yeah, real life. <laughs> yeah, the it's writing was so life. good. Like, I felt bad. I felt <laughs> really bad. <laughs> like, no joke. I felt like a bad person. But you're dodging the subject. What is your best game of the year? For me, my favorite game of the year was Assassin's Creed 4 black look, flag look i've played a ton Great, of actually, all four all three of us have played so oh, yes. game, all, game and i'm in the middle of playing through it um all the way through it finally i think it is an amazing game i think it is the second best assassin's creed game and After that's high praise for me because i love that series then then it's Assassin's, Assassin's Creed 2, 2. Yeah. is the best one. Assassin's Creed great day. Game. It's better than Brotherhood. Solely for It's a Me Mario. It's a Me <laughs> Mario! Like, no, but Assassin's Creed 2, I think, is the best game in that series. Um, I think, just in terms of, I loved building up my mansion. I Like, I loved that, all of it. Like, I loved that game. Mm-hmm. I think Assassin's Creed 4 has much better mechanics than Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed 2, but that plot is some bullshit. <laughs> That oh, plot yeah. is bullshit. Oh, yeah, it's so contrived. And to mm-hmm. me, why it wasn't Game of the Year, even though it's a game that I will probably put more hours into, maybe even than GTA V when it's all said and done, mm-hmm. it's because, for me, what I value in no, games... you won't. From an you won't ed- put more hours into Probably that. not, yeah. but I'll put close. I'm, because you know, it'll I'm, take, like, five years for them to release another GTA, and it'll take them one year to release yeah, exactly. another Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Exactly, Assassin's Creed but 4 like, to... I'm 40 hours into Assassin's Creed. Exploding Assassin- Man. I'm, Assa- I'm 40 hours into Assassin's Creed 4. Now, I did 70 eight. hours on GTA 5. However, I did play the same five hours of Assassin's Creed 4 three times. I watched that same five hours six times. Um... I'm sorry for you. Yeah, it's rough. Um, anyways, that's why your virtual girlfriends broke I up with you. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm an Assassin's so Creed you're Four. Married. <laughs> my problem with that game, we gave it number three. Like, I don't have huge problems well, with after, this game. It's after like two amazing games: it beat one Bioshock of which... and GTA Five mm-hmm. on our list. I value narrative above almost every, anything that. else, mm-hmm. and so that's why number two is Gone Home. It just wasn't quite enough of a game for it to win for me. And then number one is La- The Last of Us because of what it does with character and because of what it does with story. Is the gameplay mechanic a little repetitive? From what I understand, yes. Yes, it is. But and, name and a game on that list that doesn't have a repetitive gameplay well, mechanic. Well, I think one of the things I didn't like about Last of Us was the fact it built up. It's like, oh, it's a this is a every man and he's trying to protect this girl and... He's going to sneak Bring around. the and girl in the dead is repaid. <laughs> well, okay, so this is what I... My problem with The Last of Us, and I think one of the reasons why I didn't have the huge, like, emotional connection to the end of it Because was... you were high when you finished it. Huh? You were high I... when you finished it. Yeah, I, I may have also gone into caffeine withdrawal the day after. Um, <laughs> that may have happened. But realistically, I, one of the reasons I think that it actually was a little disappointing to me was... I had had people telling me about how emotionally amazing it was and how the end of The Last of Us made it better than Bioshock Infinite. Yes. And I mean, Bioshock Infinite at that time was one of like the best games I had ever played. And it is, I think it remains. Mm-hmm. It is an amazing game. With I would have put it higher like, on that list. It's it's like ability. Oh, my God. It's fighting mechanics are so bad. Right. And that's the, 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 it's just the thing like, I don't care about at all. An ir- like... It's reprehensible how bad those game those like fighting mechanics are. Yeah. But okay, so anyways, going back, I'd heard all these great things about how good the ending to um The Last, Last of Us was. And so by the time I got to it, I was like, This is it? This is this is the great ending. 
It is a great ending. It is a great ending, but I wanted more because it had been built up to me. Whereas I refused to do that to anyone that was going to play Bioshock Infinite. I said, you just have to play through. But look, if we're going for ending of the good. year, Bioshock Infinite doesn't get ending of the year either. The, what's the ending. ending of the year? Gone Home gets ending of the year. Gone Home. Steven, did you play all the way through Gone Home? I, I couldn't get into it because it was just a it's narrative. It's like a two-hour game. So Don't three. even give me this bullshit. Yeah, to well, me, it's, it's to me w- I played all the way through Gone Home. Yeah, and Trey gets physically and ill for first-person games. For first-person games. For first person games. Yeah, like, yeah, I know I'm you the do. the nerdiest person also in happens the world. at like two miles an hour. There's, o- like, there's only, only so many times you could press the goddamn answering machine. Uh, <laughs> Look, I grew up on Tim what Schafer did adventure games. Did you click the fucking advent. You click the fucking answering machine. Oh, and oh. Repeat game itself. of the year is from Big Fish Games, then, and it's Big Fish Games is this thing that makes these point and click adventures. No, it's awesome. One of them stars the mom from a Back to the Future. It's Look. great. <laughs> Look, I- I'm sorry. How many children did you save from the evil demon by clicking using the pickaxe? On the skull head. I really don't want to think about my <laughs> virtual girlfriends right now. Um, Your virtual girlfriend is Leah Thompson. <laughs> look, if you're talking about ending of the year, it's gone home. But what The Last of Us had is The Last of Us combined an amazing story that advanced the medium of video games with some actually innovative gameplay <laughs> that possibly wore out its welcome. But it actually had, it was better gameplay than Bioshock Infinite. It was more gameplay than Gone Home. And I argue that the narrative in that story is almost as good as either of those two. So it no, is to I, me, I it is the most complete game of the year. The, is it the, the game that I enjoyed playing the most? No, because I played very little of it, and I don't own a PS3. The narrative of Bioshock Infinite is better still, in my opinion. But I think The Last of Us, game, sure. I can, as I can as a that. complete game, I do think that The Last of Us is better because... Based, especially based on my experiences putting um, one of one of Trey and my good friends in front of the game, um, he was extraordinarily frustrated with the shooting mechanics because, well, in his words, they were not like Call of Duty. But and there I, also I isn't a perk system. <laughs> well, and, and there's also not a seven-year-old boy telling you that your mom is a whore. No, and that, that, I mean, that's, he has that's had sex thing. with them. That's no, no, no. Probably that's a nine-year-old. Oh, that's nine-year-old. a nine-year-old. That's right. It's Call of Duty. It's an M-rated the game. I'm sorry. Play Halo. Okay. That's true. <laughs> Halo read. Anyways, keep going, Jimmy. Blood violence. No. Um. It used to be my a cell phone ringtone. <laughs> After, ooh, I love birds. Ooh, I love birds. <laughs> These are all references to Tobuscus, a YouTube personality for those uh, of you who are lost. I don't even remember what I was saying. Anyway, so Steven, what is your problem with The Last of Us? It just, it, don't get me wrong. Great plot. The beginning of Last of Us just totally throws you for a loop. Yeah. I think that's awesome. also happens in Texas, which is why it's awesome. Yeah. It also happens in Texas. Yeah. But then you get this whole narrative built around this relationship and it's it's beautiful it's beautiful but you're also but it and it's troubled and flawed it's troubled and, cool. and flawed but the problem is it's and human it's human yes and it's a great narrative it's just it seems so out of place when you're killing 300 uh-huh. people at a time okay but you don't have to yes you do <laughs> no you don't no you don't you're, you're given a choice you can sneak around oh you can sneak around how many people yeah, yeah, yeah. do that <laughs> You can Look, you can sneak around in Last of Us. The fact like that you're a games. heartless killer. Not, <laughs> you are a heartless Murder stone everyone. Stone They're all gonna die. No, no, no let's be clear. I always choose killer. the kill everybody option, but I understand that I have a choice. <laughs> I understand that I have a game choice. gives you a choice. The fact that you chose well, violence says Creed, more like, about you than it does about The Last of Us. Also, like in Assassin's just, Creed, there most of the missions you can complete without actually killing anybody. Yeah, but I murder all yeah. of the people. Except yeah. for because the Edward assassins. Edward Kenway would murder all of the people. Edward Kenway does not sneak around. Edward Kenway I straps four everybody. guns to his chest and two swords. That is a murder machine. Maybe and he the also guns has that like awesome, game. like where he goes, like you know, swings them both ways, like this. Yeah, like, look, you want to talk about the game I love the most? Mm-hmm. 
it's Assassin's Creed Four. Boom! Game of the Year. Steven wins. No, it's out of here, bitches. Game of the Year. We've 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 already established what the Game of the Year is. You cannot change it at this point. Well, we can argue about it forever. We argued about the Game of the Year for like an Three hour. hour. Well, <laughs> the game of this year is going to be. I'm gonna call it already. Dark okay, Souls call it. Two. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3D Arcade HD. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Steven, do you want to play Dark Souls 2? <laughs> yeah. Do we need we need an editor to cover Dark Souls 2 because b- both of us f- fucking hate I've Dark Souls. I played about like two hours of it and I hated everything. You every played Dark Souls 1. It. You have not played. None of us have. have I have seen played it. Dark Souls 1. In fact, I have played the first level repeatedly on Dark Souls 1. <laughs> no, no, no. You need a walkthrough. That's <laughs> <laughs> So. Ooh, play Dark Souls 2. And we're done. How, no should, more how far have you gotten in Dark Souls? I have gotten to the second level. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, this could possibly be the best, objectively the best game of the year, but none of us want to play it. Which, <laughs> unfortunately... We make Steven and I play it. Which, unfortunately... That way we can both just hate on it. Exactly. Well, we are going to do, do a live stream of Dark Souls 2. I have just decided now. Just we're, decided we're gonna now. Do a Dark There's going to be so much profanity. And it'll be all idea? three of us. It'll be all three of us on there, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, when is Dark Souls 2 even supposed to come out? March 11th. I'm Googling. I think it's March. Look, if oh. I'm right about March 11th, I'm in I'm in Mexico that day, by the way. So, so you're going to be playing in Mexico? Damn it, Trey. I, March 11th. Am I right? Yes. Who to man? What also else? not supported on next gen. Do Fuck wanna, you, Dark Souls. Do you want to know what also I think drops March 11th? What's that? Titanfall. Huh, huh, I see what you did there. Drop Titanfall. Yeah, see what no, I no, did? Fall, yeah. Titans. You want to know what the really sad part is? I actually planned it that way. Uh, <sighs> you want to know what I actually think will be the game of the year, assuming that Watch Dogs doesn't come out? Mm-hmm. It's Titanfall. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm think, making a huge... Uh, what, you think not Destiny? You don't think Destiny will be the game of the year? No, I don't. So you're I... betting against Bungie with... With Respawn. The with folks Sp- what made Call of Duty. Okay. I'm oh, basically yeah, but Bungie made Halo. Yeah. But sure. Ac- Halo, me love. Yeah. Time. <laughs> Who has sold actually this would be a fun game and I know the answer, but Call of Duty has sold more. Me so me so killing. Me love you long time. No, well, but might the- I suggest Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a dumb argument because you know, I Because I see. won and I'm the greatest. Let's Everyone see. Else I have can played, shut up. I have played a preview build of exactly none of these games. But if you want my bet, it's Titanfall. Um, I think the game of the year for this year is going to be Need for Speed, the movie, the game, the movie. The, the no, movie's no, no, no. coming it, it'll be, soon. Um, like it, it'll be the new... Um, Can you oh, do it? Stu- Uncharted. Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted. That, that's my... I mean, that's probably what will get me off the fence. It'll be Trey's personal game of the year. Uncharted yeah, 4. Either yeah, that unfortunately, or Trey has already told me that I have to buy it. Xbox One. I have told you to buy an Xbox One, so you can, so you and Sydney can play some Mad no, no, Titanfall. No, not to buy. You've told me I have to buy. Yes. Yeah. I have told Just, you have to buy it. Let's check our budget. Jimmy's Xbox One budget is zero dollars. Yeah, Jimmy's <laughs> Xbox One budget is the budget created by Trey buying Jimmy's PS4. That's actually yeah, that might happen. That that may happen because I want to play Uncharted and I am probably. Hey, what, I, what PS4 games do you want me to, to sell you? None of your. What do you have for PS4 that I? I don't. You don't have anything on PS4 I want to play. FIFA. <laughs> I actually, I would play. I would play some FIFA. I'd buy FIFA. FIFA actually, FIFA is pretty good on the next gen. If yeah, you no, I, I, I like FIFA, and I don't care what platform I'm playing it on. Well, like, no, but like on. on next. So FIFA on next gen, they actually have like basically continuous gameplay, like you oh, know, watching real soccer. That's kind of nice. Awesome. That so is... it it really is more immersive in that way. Cool. Um. Sure. I mean, I'll buy FIFA, and I'll. I'm not gonna buy Assassin's Creed 4 again, though. I'm sorry. Why? Because <laughs> it looks like balls. Right? You could actually own like... Assassin's Creed 4 on every platform. Look, it <laughs> looks like balls. It looks awful on PS4. I, People are I currently lying. own P- on, own Assassin's Creed on PS3 and PS4. Right, and I've only got it on 360, and I'm because happy I'm a with that. Crack smoking moron. <laughs> Hey, wait a second. Isn't this the same game? I'm this the one with the four behind. I'm the one with the pornographic JRPG user icon on PSN because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes. I need to post a, a screenshot of that. Yeah, to, uh, dude, it's, it's, it's to really site, embarrassing. So that people can see this. Like, it should not do things in the middle of the night. So, Jimmy, what's new with you? 
Um, Dark Souls 1 is a hateful game. Tell me about Unpack that for me. No, okay, so I haven't really played that much Dark Souls 1. I because know. you can't play that much Dark Souls 1. You Apparently get frustrated. Apparently it's one of the best games ever. I've Trey was told. literally on the phone with me while I was going through this, and <laughs> it was just like, I wonder what's down this hallway, and I died. Oh, yep. great. Okay. Well, what happens if I go in this? Oh, this giant monster just killed me. So guess what? Dark Souls 2 is exactly like that. I read. Do I uh, have to fight the giant monster? Oh, yeah, no, the giant no, monster run, killed me again. Run away. Yeah. Um, so I read a, a, a piece on GameSpot called The First 20 Deaths of Dark Souls 2, and it's exactly <laughs> like that. You spawn, and 15 seconds later, you're dead. Yeah. This just How is this fun? It's for people. I have been... Look. I, it's funny no. that I have become the Dark Souls defender because I don't want to go within within ten feet of it. You're okay with other people being okay with it. You just don't want to play. You're, it no, 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 no. You bought it without me saying I, anything. You know, I did buy. You so bought it on Steam sale. I you paid bought it without me saying anything. For Dark Souls. I then suggested, since you had taken your own initiative and purchased the damn thing, that we need <laughs> an editor to cover Dark Souls Two, and you could be that editor yes, since you had get, already purchased Dark you Souls. You have won the trophy on of Steam sale that I've yet to play. Um... <laughs> Come here, Steam Sale. Tell me what I have purchased and not played. I purchased Papers, Please, Gone Home. And I've played Papers, Please them. should have been uh, your game Skyrim. of the year. I it purchased was, Skyrim. I, I got to it. play that. But I was the only one who um, played it. Skyrim's Far a great Cry game. 3. Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is a great game. Um, there's Even lots better of game? Total War games Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon. Yes! There's your game of the year you right there. trip on acid for a while. It's Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. For same folks. Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon. Oh, yes. So, okay. So we are all of the conclusion that Dark Souls is some bullshit, but that where does that leave us editorially? We're sadomasochists. No. That's what it leaves I'll, us. I'll play it. Well, I mean, we'll all I'll play it before the end of the year. I, I can make that. I will attempt because it will go on um, games. Uh, it will either go on Steam sale or it'll go on uh, GameStop. Uh, Sale, yeah, yeah, fire sale. Or I could get it for cheap for so, another. That, that doesn't solve my release day problem, which means I'm. I'm buying not it. playing it release weekend. You can go to hell. Well, then you're buying an you're buying an Xbox One release weekend, and you're We've playing. Already discussed Xbox this. One Start has already app. been released. You dumbass. No, for Titanfall. <laughs> Titanfall. Release Titanfall. Weekend. Okay, that's what oh, I'm interested. Okay. Well, what if I'm okay? Let's see. Let me look at my calendar. So March the 11th. March the 11th. Be, could conveniently be in Atlanta the 15th. The, no, you can't because I'm conveniently in Mexico. Why are you conveniently in Mexico? That seems very I have a job. Because like, <laughs> I, right. just like I all of us, conveniently have a... be in Atlanta on the 22nd. Sold. We'll do a lot of Titanfall live streams really late. And Dark Souls. My Xbox One with me? Well, no, I mean, we'll have an Xbox One here. Good plan. Which will already have Titanfall. And I can bring the PS3. If Kathleen isn't using it for Netflix, which is, uh, by the way, Hulu Plus sucks so many donkey balls. It does, oh, suck. but that is. Bu- I just had this conversation last night um, at a Super Bowl party with someone about Hulu Plus and how it sucks donkey balls. Yes. They're like, well, you know, I guess if maybe you didn't um, have cable or you know whatever. This is me like, our back of box quote: Hulu Plus sucks donkey <laughs> balls. Text less golf. <laughs> Put that. It, that's the meta. That's the what our is Metacritic, Metacritic review. Yeah, blurb. I would love to get accepted to Metacritic. <laughs> we should just start like apply putting stuff on Metacritic from us. User reviews. User reviews. Textlesscall dot com. Sucks. Sucks. Donkey, donkey balls. balls. <laughs> Better than Call of Duty, and it's Dark Souls. But it's too. all relative. <laughs> Relatively better than the. Some iterations of Call of Duty. This is gonna be a good year no. for Call of Duty though, because it's gonna be Treyarch. Um, programming exclusively for next gen. Maybe. No, that's what they've said. Year. No, that's no, no, no. That's the, maybe it'll be a great year. Well, no, no. But it is going to be um, Treyarch programming exclusively for next gen. So Treyarch has become the leader of that franchise um, because they all the good Infinity Ward people went to Respawn. What made Titanfall? <laughs> All right, so going back to how all right, we're doing Titanfall, okay. balls. and um, Hulu Plus sucks donkey balls. Go. I, I I literally had this conversation last night with someone. They said, "Oh, you know, maybe if you're not, you don't have cable, and you know, then it, I could see it being useful." And I looked them dead in the face. I said, "I don't pay for cable, and I frankly find it to be a frustrating and stupid freaking service." Yes. You charge well, me nine dollars a month. That's a lot. For I mean, that's the joy real money. of watching ads 
on your your thing that makes. Hey, it so hey, that Jimmy. That, that I'm sorry. The ads argument is bullshit. I pay fifty bucks a month to watch ads on cable. What's the difference? Um, Netflix. Right, Netflix is like a block is is like Blockbuster. So of course well, I'm not gonna. I would, have, I would pay twice as much not to watch ads. You pay twenty bucks a month to watch ads. No, no, I would to I not would watch pay, ads. You're insane. It's like it's there like isn't enough value. Dollars. Look, I, I don't buy the ads the, argument. I no, bet there's just not enough stuff there. HBO, HBO is my argument. So like, if you look at HBO, HBO yeah, I think has HBO no rips ads. people off hook, line, and sinker, but they just have more breasts in their vit content than anybody else. Yes, and and the point, the problem <laughs> with this is look, I've uh, some HBO stuff I've watched and enjoyed. Some like Sopranos, like that thing's amazing. But like, so much of their stuff is just it's just because they can be more like movies and the level of maturity that they present. And that's really what they're the home for. And they can but pay a I, I lot. I do of like money. the Netflix move towards like you know House of Cards. Also, I do like that House of Cards is being advertised on NPR currently. Look, I think uh, I, I really like Netflix's model, but I don't think it means that Hulu Plus can't have ads. That's well, not the I, thing I just that bothers that, me. Let me rephrase that. I think that Hulu Plus's value add is bullshit. Um, instead of actually adding value, instead they took value away from what their um, their free offering was. How so? So it used to be that their free offering was, okay, you can see the last three episodes of a show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they would either post Which annoyed you know, the me, day like, after. Mm -hmm. In yeah. general, they'd post the day after. Mm -hmm. um, or then Fox started doing the eight days later thing. Ugh. And then after a year of Fox doing the eight days later thing, they, um, they're like, oh, well, I guess people are used to this by now. And so they started charging for Hulu Plus, where you'd get it the day after if you paid for Hulu Plus, and you'd get the whole season. Um, that was the only difference between it and the regular Hulu. But at the same time as they did that, they increased the ads from having like two ads in each ad break to four ads in each ad break. So if you actually add up the amount of time you sit there and watch Hulu Plus, it adds up on an hour, a normal hour show to being... 59 minutes or something like sure so they've basically replicated broadcast yeah. so they've replicated broadcast on my computer but they're charging me to be able to watch it on not my, my computer. anything else so like i would not have a problem with hulu plus if it was just you get the back catalog you get it the day after um and maybe they give you another perk for five dollars a month sure yeah, uh, that would be reasonable to me, or or maybe even like Netflix price, eight dollars a month. However, the problem that I have is that you're making money off those advertisements, and so same kind of money that you'd probably be making off of advertisements on television. So no, I, st that's still not true. They, they they've still not reached parity. There's internet advertising still makes less money than television advertising, even just on a per view basis. The value is still – advertisers still just don't pour as much money online. Full stop. It's, it, it is Hulu Plus's problem because it's people who are used to totally ad-supported content and they're not getting it and they want Hulu to fail anyways. Right. No, that's true. And yeah. the other problem is that they're controlled by like – The network. But that's the only way <laughs> – that's the only way they're going to get the content is because it's controlled by the networks. Hulu had the, had the potential to be the answer. Hulu, Hulu was plus, a great idea. It was a great years. idea. It's too expensive now. It's either too expensive with my time or too expensive or, with my money. No, it's too expensive and doesn't have enough. I mean, to be fair, I, I don't know. I pay five bucks a month to watch Giant Bump. <laughs> um, Wait, but that's also content that you... Yeah, but okay. you made a choice to get that. It's I, not no, like sure. I'm going to pay... Hashtag seven stuff, people white, stuff white people like. I mean, like... Yeah. No, but, Hashtag but like, natural rubbing action from I mean, the look, Super Bowl. Like, Giant Bomb produces like four hours of content a week that I can't access for free, that I have to pay for. Okay. Also, so, like, so apparently my and, and huh? small batch. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, and part of it is spoke. I am just I believe in what they're doing, and so I'm supporting what they're doing. It is almost a donation. Mm -hmm. Um, but well, they, and how much do you give to the Daily Tech News Show? Again, five bucks a month. And what do you get from the Daily Tech News show that you do not get for not donating five bucks a month? It, it is it's everything to do with I believe in that particular content creator. 
yes. But my point is that a lot of the reason why you give that same money to Giant Bomb is because you believe in those content creators and I you do. want them to continue to keep making content. And I want them to not have to – because I mean, the backstory with, with Giant Bomb is Jeff Gersman got fired from GameSpot because of advertising. <laughs> And so that's why he created Giant Bomb. And so part of being a subscriber to Giant Bomb is supporting his ability to be independent and say whatever the hell they, he wants and do whatever the hell they want. Um, right. Well, and, and you're currently also funding Tom Merritt and his ability to do whatever, you know, the, hell do whatever the hell he wants. The same idea. And so, and so I have I think, strange ideas of value. But that's the like, I think that that's a different type of value because especially with Tom Merritt, and I understand this as well because, you know, you got me tuned into buzz out loud like five years ago um oh gee yo uh which kind of started this whole fun um it's a change and the when you get to know a specific content creator that well and you you feel like you know oh okay i i know how he would respond to this i understand his point on that then you're more supporting them because you believe in them but I'm sorry, you're not supporting NBC because you believe in Comcast or but whatever. No, but like, people, people, I, I don't know. I do believe in Comcast. I think multinational corporation conglomerates are the way of the future. No, but I, I don't, may not believe in Comcast, but I believe in Rachel Maddow. Else about you. I, believe, I don't believe in Comcast, but I do believe in Rachel Maddow. I don't quite have the same feelings towards Rachel Maddow that I have for Tom Merritt. I have more sexual feelings towards Rachel Maddow and less towards Tom Merritt. Who does Scarlett Johansson work for? I'll support them. Soda Stream. Soda Stream? Which supports the Israelis in the West Bank, and so you can't support Soda Stream. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's the other show. Middle Um, finger to the um, Coke and Pepsi. Right. (laughs) Um, But you're also then oppressing Palestinians. Um, this is really not this show. That's 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 morally troubling. Let's not <laughs> yeah. do that. Yeah, let's let's I not do that. I will just go watch all of her movies. Yeah, Good just plan. watch all of her movies. Um, in the in a darkened room alone. Um, oh, wow, you just said that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you did. Where's um, my Twitter feed? I need. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't share that. And Please. this this coming from a man with not one, not two, but five virtual girlfriends in Persona Four. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Really he made his digi- choice. I'm a <laughs> bad digital person. Um, so, anyways, I guess it, it's time for me to talk about what's new with me and what's yeah, new what with me. Yeah, what is new with you? Broken Age. Broken Age. Broken Age. It's a it? new ad- point-and-click adventure game um, that started out as a Kickstarter project by Tim Schafer, the okay. writer of the Monkey Island games, which I go way back with. Um, it, so he made this true, you know all new uh, point and click adventure game called Broken Age that launched on Steam for non-backers um, last Tuesday on the 28th of January and that game is awesome. It is voiced by Elijah Wood um, among others. It is um, uh, you play two different characters that you can swap between any time a lot like GTA except a point and click adventure game and it's quirky and it's funny and it's got a beautiful art style and it's a lot of fun and it reminds me of my childhood. Um, when I was growing up, um, my brother, my dad and I would sit in the computer room and we would play adventure games. We played a bunch of monkey Island. We played this uh, terrible game called beyond time. We played really wonderful games like mist and riven and oh crap. I'm blanking on the one that's set in the day of the dead. Um, Uru. No, what was it called? Ugh. It was a point and click adventure game by LucasArts. Considered one of the best of all time. Grim Fandango? Grim Fandango! Yes. 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 And so I played through all of those. And so, you know... You Grim know, Fandango, Jimmy, get your head out of your ass. This is an amazing game. Um, and so he get came out the Steam new one. right now. And if you like adventure games at all, or if you have a soul or a conscience, buy it. Oh, or buy shit. a soda stream, apparently. <laughs> no, don't buy a soda stream. No, no, no. If you have a soul or a conscience, buy this and not a soda stream. <laughs> okay. buy this and not soda. Use and the money you were going to use for a soda stream to buy Grim Fandango and, and then this game. It was a chance for Kickstarter Broken to let a creator age, be a creator, and he yeah. did. He raised $3 million on Kickstarter, then his own company matched that money, and so they spent $6 million on this amazing game. And it truly is wonderful. And it may be on my top top five list game of wow. the year it's $25 yeah but you get both episodes I mean it's like a full game this is not like uh, 
you remember when games came out in episodes? Yeah, so, I mean, Telltale still does that. Really? Yeah, and Telltale yeah. is, is oh, oh yeah is also like an original Monkey game Island game. creator, the other one. Mm -hmm. And then they did a Monkey Island game a few years back. In episodes, I'm going to regret this, Trey. Yep. No, you're not going to regret this Speaking at all. Speaking of episodes... Should I get Buy Broken Age Plus soundtrack? No, I don't like yeah. this. I don't think the soundtrack's anything to write home about. I, for $5 more. Purchase for myself. Yeah. Or should I purchase as gift so it doesn't show up in my history as you know, something I would possibly want? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to buy it for my dad for his birthday. Not that he listens to the show. So that's Not that he fine. listens to the show or anything. Hi, Dad. Um, or I guess spoilers. Dad. So I, that's what's new with me is I've been playing, um, when I'm not playing Assassin's Creed 4, I'm playing Broken Age and smiling, and it's great. Awesome. And Elijah Wood does an amazing job, and you really should play it. I know neither of you care because neither of you are point-and-click adventure game guys. Oh, I love point-and-click adventures. Then like, get this. Me and Kathleen, we will... We will actually, you know, we will be in bed and we will play point and click adventures on our. Really, is that what you call? I it don't now? need to know what you do <laughs> in bed. We found. I don't know what to know. I I don't want to know what you're pointing and clicking. Okay. We found we found no, a website. Just keep it to yourself. We found a no, website just, just, that helps them point and click each other. God, I hate it's just you a all. tip. Continue. Yeah. Well, I found a website. In, um, Whoa, I don't need to virtual, know what you on the internet do it alone either. <laughs> virtual NES, okay, and we found that it had Maniac Mansion on it, and we that totally is a great game. We played that. Um like Monkey Island. Also is a great. Tim Schafer game. Yeah. Yeah. When he was in LucasArts. Yeah. Um So you guys should play this. Maybe yeah. I'll give this to you. No. Because you all will enjoy it. Like That's this sweet. is like yeah. you know, this is, you know, not blood and guts and gore. It, you know, it's another yeah, one of those. We like we like games where you can like Use pickaxe on baby yeah, head or something exactly like that. That's exactly what and this is. And there's no blood, yeah. You know, use the, you know... Wake up, Jimmy. Use Jimmy the peanut yawning. butter on the duck. That kind of thing. Whoa! That escalated quickly. You need to keep those things to yourself, Trey. Yeah. <laughs> I so, also need to keep a running log of everything Trey says in this, because I, I this know. is gold. It's, it's yes, it is. So, just in case you're wondering, I have a Twitter account. No, that's... don't. No, you can't. You cannot reveal this Twitter account is me. <laughs> like that's, I, I have the, a, I have the, a Twitter account that what is shall it? not be named. What that is, is your... really just crazy shit that Trey says. The key to this Twitter account is you do not tell anyone it's me on this Twitter account. Or else I, I'm screwed. <laughs> It's also not linked. It's not linked to me in any way. It's also not linked to Trey in any way. Right. It's like if you stumble across it, you won't know it, and that's great. Um, yeah. yeah, you would not know it's Trey. However, I need to keep it track because there is actually a Twitter account. <laughs> of the really dumb stuff that I say. Um, of which there is. Of which there's a lot, and a yeah. lot of it's wildly offensive. Um, so speaking of wildly offensive, we wanted to talk briefly <laughs> about Lenovo. Hey, what the hell's Lenovo? So Lenovo is a Chinese company. That's racist. It is a company <laughs> based in China. You go to hell. <laughs> um, and Lenovo just bought China, Motorola yeah. from Google. That's yeah. like the big news. Is that like, did that just happen? Cause like I, last week. Okay, good. Because a few, because hey, I remember. I broke that story on the on the text last call. Yes, okay. In that you found that. Yeah, no, no, that's true. You actually found, no, you found the press release okay. on Lenovo. I found the press release within before, five minutes of it being Before posted. Reuters was pulling quotes from that same press release so so you should say you should Wait. email them and say that it was your story they stole and call them jerks i'm, I'm just glad jimmy did real journalism i merely I'm posted so on the internet and that just happened <laughs> <laughs> um hey look it's a thing so i pulled the cnet <laughs> previously lenovo bought ibm's laptop business and so lenovo is the makers of the thinkpad and the okay. idea pad um, very recently, like two weeks ago, they bought IBM's um, x86 server business. And so now, Lenovo is really. like, the, the, mm -hmm. the number one PC maker in the world and like the number three smartphone maker in the world. With the purchase of Motorola and finally being able to break into the U.S. market, mm -hmm. they stand a really big chance of being the number one cell phone maker in the world. And, and hopefully they'll just face stomp Samsung, which and, is see, like currently my entire goal for this acquisition. Which, which is kind of what I wanted to talk about. Like, HP makes really shitty computers. Lenovo makes pretty good computers. Yeah, well, I'm HP okay with... was the number one computer maker in the world three years ago. Yep. Hey, Steven, wake up. That is a son Until of a Lenovo bitch. really lifted off. And so I Lenovo still have a compact, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. But Lenovo seems to do a really like good said, job. HP makes really shitty computers. <laughs> of becoming really big with quality products. And maybe all I wanted to say, but I wanted to make sure I say that. 
Okay, that Lenovo make good quality make products? shitty products. That's what Lenovo makes okay, good so The two things I think are interesting about this. One is that Lenovo, and we kind of discussed this on the other podcast. Lenovo's totally face stomping Samsung in China. Mm -hmm. So maybe with the acquisition of Motorola and the licensing of all the patents that they got from Google, they can um, face stomp them in the U.S. of A. They, yeah, and make that. Awesome. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of wondering if they're gonna crappy plastic company down. Hey, there's rumors that they'll make a metal one, like there were last year and the year before. Sure, you know. they might, but that doesn't change the fact that their build quality is shoddy. Oh yeah, like everyone who I know who's purchased a S4 or whatever it's called, it died. G6 has dropped it once and exploded oh, everywhere. I need to send my S3 to gazelle yeah you do well, it <laughs> still has box, some, like right here it's, well it still has some value 73 dollars um, according to yeah, gazelle it's not bad um, it's terrible an iphone 4s is worth a lot more than that you know what shove it i don't care um i'm just saying but worship like I said, me shove it. worship me it's My, a good looking phone i am your god now anyways um Jeez. Jimmy, buy me Jimmy. I'm ignoring the Apple <laughs> logo that's presumably on the webcam. I can't see. It um, is just me. I'll make all your dreams come true. It's funny how it's now reflecting my chest. You will, you will have five okay, that makes it better. You will have five <laughs> virtual girlfriends. Oh, You're still stuck on the five virtual girlfriends. Um, so Jimmy, make your final point, and then we've got we've got to get out of here. I mean, my thing on the Lenovo is is really first off. I hope that they really face stomp Samsung. Um, In the that's face. really the main main point I wanted to make. But then my second point is something that Trey and I discovered very interestingly this weekend is that apparently when one goes to the Microsoft store searching for a certain Lenovo 8.1 inch Windows 8.1 tablet, um, a, you can't buy Microsoft it. store apparently does not actually carry. In in the physical store now they sell them online, but in the physical store Microsoft does not carry a single Lenovo product, so not the amazing Yoga. Which, yeah, well, I mean, which, just, I think it's just ridiculous that the Microsoft store is not selling anything from the number one PC vendor on the planet. So, which just tells me that the entire thing is well, and then the the the, the real topper for this for me was I asked him if he sold any Lenovo computers, and he told me. No, I don't. I don't believe we do. However, we do have a special. Do, do you want to hear? He seemed very hesitant about it. And then he said, "Do you want to hear about it?" I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> well, we have this HP oh, 15 uh, inch computer that's wah, on sale, wah, and it, wah, it has kind of gaming chops. It's like you know an i7. It's got a 750 gig hard drive, and it's only 600 bucks. It was like. I, I just really wanted to shoot him down. I was like, wait, this is a laptop? Because I didn't hear him say it was a laptop at first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only heard 15 inch and that didn't register. And then I went, wait a second. Is this a laptop? He said, yeah. No, no, no I'm really no, not no, interested. No, 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 sorry. Interested. There's a little glimmer if I thought that was a desktop because then that i7 could actually be pretty screaming and we could we could talk. Maybe I mean, I'd swap out all the parts that were manufactured by HP. Like the so case. like the motherboard, the RAM... No, I mean, that's all off-the-shelf parts. It's just pull, change cases and change cables. You'll be fine. A couple like, hundred bucks. You know, yeah. Power supply. And, and, you know, the PCI cards aren't held in with, like, bubble gum. Right. And I you put know, in the liquid cooling. Yeah, there's a lot of things I do. There's not, there's not just <laughs> I would just the hopes and wills, <laughs> you know, Meg Whitman holding the entire computer together. Yeah, it's just Meg Whitman. God just, bless her. Uh, so it's probably time for us to get off air. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in the inaugural episode of T4 Techies Talking Tech tonight. If you have any feedback for the show, podcast at textlesscall.com, facebook.com slash textlesscall, pinterest.com slash textlesscall, you know or at pinterest. Text yeah, we do. Or at textlesscall on the You wish Twitters. you were as cool as we are. Good night. You pick it up which, what you want for your win there, Trey? <laughs> on the Pinterest. That's how we pick out all the pink, That's beautiful true. tech. <laughs>